Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from LightSailVR.com. To denoise an Octane for Blender, there's a few steps you have to do. AP Octane can make it easier, but I'm going to show you the steps in case you don't have AP Octane and you need to know how it works anyway. So the first thing you need to do is of course be in Octane. Then you have to enable the Octane Camera Imager and Override and scroll down to Enable Denoising. And you can see it doesn't do anything yet. If you want denoise volumes, you can check that as well. But this is where a lot of users get frustrated because you would think, well, it should be showing up. Well, there's a few things you still have to do. One is you need to go over to your passes, your view layer here, and then come down to denoiser and check beauty denoiser. And then the other thing you have to do is click on preview pass type, click on denoiser beauty. This is going to show this pass and now you can sort of see what we have here. The other thing you may have to do is if you have two low samples, let's see what happens if we do this. So right now, it, even though I have it all set up correctly, it's still not denoising. You may have to change your minimum denoiser samples here or bring up your max preview samples. After you render, go to the compositing tab and to see your denoiser, use the Octane Denoiser Beauty Pass. You can also add a mix node and mix the noisy image with the denoised image to get the desired result that you want. Okay, that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one.